Okay, welcome back to Behind the Streams episode three. Today's uh, talk show podcast is very interesting. Yeah. A lot happened this week in the streaming and gaming and entertainment world. And we'll start off with the one that happened today, just a couple hours ago, where Dr. Disrespect has been yeah. reported to be permanently suspended. Twitch. Now, this was kind of crazy because I was at the gym. We we're, were at the gym. So I didn't check Twitter or anything for, for a good hour, you know, two hours. I turn on my phone. I finally look at it. And there was a tweet from, you know, Slasher, very notable esports news reporter slash consultant, whatever you call him. He's very credible, almost always accurate with all his information. And he tweets out that Dr. Disrespect was permanently banned by Twitch and it caused a huge uproar. Uh, not only because there's no information about it, but he is literally one of the biggest I streamers. Yeah, he really is. <laughs> one of the biggest. It's probably like top five. Literally. Biggest. Yeah. Top and <laughs> it's crazy as we don't have information. It's someone that big, that big of a figure. And we're just, everyone's just waiting for more information. What do you guys think about it? It's crazy. Crazy. Because you would think that somebody would say something, right? Either Twitch or Doc, but nothing's being said. I even like, saw a video of uh, Doc was talking to Tim the Tap Man, and Doc didn't even know what it was about. He was trying to figure it out. Wait, really? Yeah, there's a small clip. Tim the Tap Man said, oh, I just got off the phone with Doc. Or, like, I just finished talking to Doc. All Doc said was, I don't even know what happened. I'm talking to Twitch trying to figure it out. I got a few ideas. Mm -hmm. A few guesses. <laughs> Whoa. Let me, uh, what does give that me, mean? Give me one second. Let me... Uh, you to say what I think it is. Say a little oh. decent here. Decent as possible. Not a very shitty setup. Are you at risk, Dom? You got some information? Oh no, man. <laughs> oh man, my plate is clean, like <laughs> Mister Clean, clean. Oh, that's God. that's. I'm a I'm a good boy, man. I'm a good. Boy. Mm. Oh, well, the, the doc isn't so. <laughs> <laughs> Something's going on with him. I'm gonna just say this: If you got the money and the clout, there's a lot of things you can do on the side. So you think and, he uh, got away with something? Yeah, yeah. Maybe. You know, I, I honestly don't know because, like, I thought, th I mean, like, I thought just like everybody else, it was a DMCA kind of thing, right? Where it's like, oh, he probably got flagged, and they just said, but see, this is the thing. they also cleared that up that it's not a DMCA. Oh, they did. Yeah, they, yeah. Cause, Slasher cause tweeted they, right they, under the production. thread that it was not a DMCA related ban. Oh shit! Because yeah. all his production is made by him, right? So I don't think he'll ever get DMCA. No, because he doesn't okay. really play no, music, he, right? Like, there's no uh, music playing on his stream. Oh yeah, huh? It is. It is like no, he uh, plays like retro wave type shit. Yeah, like, but is that right, right? 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 But I guess not. <laughs> Well, either way, it either way, it's been clear that it's not DMCA, for sure. Okay. So they said it was a violation in terms of service. Um, but my that could be anything. My theory. I have a really a uh, big brain theory. I've been thinking about it for a bit, right? Let it out. Brian. Twitch. Twitch hasn't said anything, and I believe they. It's always. It's also been reported that Twitch won't say anything, which means that. Doc really fucked up behind the scenes. And if Twitch doesn't, and Twitch is choosing not to publicly say anything, so they're not gonna engage in the PR battle, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. most people think Doc can be like, oh, Twitch is doing me wrong, you know, and start a PR war against them. But I think Doc did something so bad that the PR battle won't even start, which is why Twitch doesn't even need to say anything. Because they know Doc can't say anything. It's just going to make him look bad. And my theory is, maybe with all the allegations that have been rising, with females standing out, standing up for themselves, mm -hmm. talking about their stories, maybe the person that he did the two-time with, 
was Ooh. someone that works at Twitch that finally decided to open up about what had happened. That's just my you theory. Read Ob- me. You read my mind. Like Obviously, we don't Brian. we don't really know, but uh, most definitely, whatever did happen. I don't think we're gonna get information. I think if Doc says anything, I, I think he got banned for an actual reason, and Doc can't really. Or also, he won't want to bring it up. Or also, he might come out with his own uh, side of the story first. Maybe waiting for a legal narrative to, right. to build, build up. up. Right. Yeah, yeah that could be just true. Waiting, and you never know. He could have talked to Twitch about it and said. Hey, don't don't announce anything about my. my yeah, Twitch. I feel like Twitch. <laughs> yeah. I will come out. You know how Doctor Disrespect is. I'm Which not, is I'm probably, not I, a I fan feel... of him, but he does a lot of production wise. Yeah, and uh, I think he has his own way of coming out. Hmm. I'm not out the closet, but <laughs> coming out with the reason why he okay. got banned. Hmm. I don't know, man. It's really tough. We don't really know. This is he's one of the biggest streamers, right? Top five, top three, even I think yeah, man. in terms of viewership. He's, he's always one of the ones carrying a game. And when when a company decides to ban someone, there's they say it in two different terms: indefinite ban and permanently banned. When you're indefinitely <laughs> banned, indefinite ban means the company can overturn the ban, such as Tyler One, right? When he was banned from Riot Games in League of Legends. He was indefinitely banned, and Riot Games overturned it, said, hey, good luck, we're going to monitor you, but you can stream League of Legends again. Mm -hmm. And same as, you know, like the CS pros that did match fixing. In a competitive game, they're indefinitely banned. All the players were still kind of playing, like, hopefully we get unbanned and can compete again. But for this case, it clearly says permanently banned, not indefinitely banned, which means... They're harsh, they're man. not gonna overturn it. That's harsh, bro. Unless unless they, I that's just what I'm assuming. Maybe more threads will come out, and it says indefinitely banned. But like but right now, all the headlines it says permanently banned, and it doesn't look like he's coming back. Like imagine waking up to something like an email <clears throat> saying you're permanently okay. banned, dude. That, okay. That's just painful, but bro. Why would they ban like one of their biggest money makers? There's no way. See, that's the thing, bro. That's the thing. I don't think they Wait, wanted what? to. You don't think they wanted to? I don't think they wanted to. You think bro. you think this ban was like in some way it was right, but it also added to the fact that like to make themselves sound like a good company, like you know, right, nobody right. nobody is immune to it. We're gonna ban the biggest streamer, even though it sounds like a dumb move on us, right? Like right. That's what you're saying? No, I mean, bro, I agree with you hundred percent. I feel like this is like like a way for it because they're they're already on thin ice yeah with the whole they, really, not dude, getting they haven't been on top of no so, but i feel like this is a way for them to you know no but like they they would i don't think they would randomly pick doc that you guys are saying that twitch wants to set an example no, no, right I'm, I'm pretty sure i don't think he's i i really do think someone's to, uh they found out that doc did something really bad behind the scenes whether it's mm-hmm. you know right now our theories are sexual allegations because of all the talk uh-huh. that's been on Twitter. But maybe he yeah. did something really bad business-wise and behind the scenes. Something bad enough for them to ban one of bad. their biggest... Bad. Especially because they also paid for him to stay on Twitch. Mm-hmm. But he did literally something that bad to where they needed to get rid of him. Oh, that's true. Maybe he was mm, in the talks we with another platform. Here. Coming from Bucks. He said, I'm guessing he tried to take a brand deal yeah maybe some kind of partnership i mean he he has a lot of sponsors he definitely didn't try he he did something but i don't know what i don't know what he could have done that breaches his contract because he was already like a part of boom tv right like he was already he already had these public he already has that he already had a a lot of brand deals but i don't know what breach of contract could have been this bad where he needed to get banned who knows? Maybe like, we'll get more information. I like, really don't think we will, though. Yeah, I don't either. But like, I'm pretty sure he's gonna come out with something. 
there's no way he wasn't careful with this though like being that huge like you know that you have to be on top right. of your shit if you're if you're gonna you talk can't... with another brand there's no way that he's like oblivious like oh fuck i slipped like what right. nah twitch had to have done some kind of digging or something i don't know yeah I'll, 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 this is this is i'm sure about dude i'm sure he, he he's uh what like a thirty thousand, fifty thousand viewer a concurrent viewer streamer that's like subs too there is like, no he's way he's not gonna subs. talk about what happened to him I don't you know, know what man. i'm saying just imagine this podcast just goes you know it just goes off out of nowhere just ne we never do this again wouldn't you know wouldn't they w wonder like yo what happened yeah. to the podcast you know? yeah but you talk about millions of people who goes on his stream daily you know? daily i I'm curious to see what what his Reddit looks like right now. Like, what are they yeah, talking Reddit. about in there? I haven't even it's checked crazy. his Reddit. Like crazy. I but bet see, there's a bunch is, of theories is, of like, oh, like maybe he got banned because of this or that. Right, right. So but for sure, Doctor Dis disrespects on the pedestal, and I told Brian this earlier that I don't think he should stress about this because he's still eating, man. At the end of the day, he built this amazing community. You know, he can live off YouTube for literally worst case scenario. He's gonna go stream on YouTube. What I think is gonna happen is he did something really bad, which is being nice and not exposing it. Doc probably won't come out and say anything about it unless he got banned for something really, uh, really dumb. But I think if he did, Twitch would have announced something and then Doc would announce something and it would turn into a PR battle. Mm. But the fact that Twitch. But Twitch is jet like literally is deciding to be silent about it, so they. But I feel like they're confident in their decision and that they're not. They don't need to get into that battle. Maybe if Doc does create his narrative, like you said earlier, yeah. he creates yeah. his narrative, mm -hmm. and they enter that battle. Maybe Twitch will say something. But I really don't think. I really think he did something that bad to where that won't happen, and he's just gonna chill for a bit, kind of like when he took a break when he was cheating on his wife right and he's just gonna go to youtube and he's still going to be mm. one of the largest content creators what? it just really sucks to see a world with no no doc has he right. or sorry has twitch ever made like public explanations why they ban people i don't really i don't remember uh they've like explicitly said oh we banned this streamer because of this Kind of. You know, when Deller got banned, they did say a few oh, things. They did. I don't, and I don't even think Deller is permanently banned. He's banned indefinitely as well. I think if yeah. you look it up. But he got banned for self harm. Oh yeah, it says self harm. Like they, they gave, they literally said why he got banned, and Deller tried to make a PR battle. He's recently, oh. even recently, he was like, "Twitch, please unban me. I'm not addicted to drugs no more." <laughs> Man. No, like <laughs> it sounds like a meme, yeah. But like he, yeah. he defeated his drug addiction and he's That's tremendously crazy. improved. Actually, I think it also does say he's been banned permanently. Mm. I also don't remember what they said when Ice Poseidon got banned, mm -hmm. but uh, they definitely. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. This looks very. Judging by the people, there, there has been random people tweeting like, I know what happened, like, but I can't say anything. You yeah, know? I'm pretty sure that's some, like, some head-assery, like... It's like, like an <laughs> inner circle. Thing. Yeah, like, so, some people probably capping, some people probably really know. No, 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 I'm pretty sure people who plays with Dr. Disrespect, like Tim the Tap, man. No, no, none, none of the, none of his people around they, him they know. could be lying you could tell me something and i'll be like to other people yo man this is what he said to me. only people that know are yeah. probably industry people like within the yeah, for sure. behind the scenes i guess we crazy, have to man. uh crazy 2020 man 2020 yeah, yeah. is hit different different well, this should be hitting different <laughs> fuck <Random>. man <laughs> but yeah hopefully we figure stuff out even if it's even if it makes Doc look really bad, I do want to know why he got banned. I want to see if they overturn it, see what happens. But as oh, for man. his career, we know what we though. definitely know one platform he's not going to, and that's Mixer. Because Microsoft recently <laughs> got rid of Mixer. And one of the oh. tyrants, one of the streaming platforms, is actually gone. They sold it to Facebook. 
also known as Facebook Gaming, they're merging. So thousands of Mixer streamers are now migrating to Facebook and going to other platforms. Dom is frozen on my screen. Uh oh. <laughs> Not. Oh, he is. Oh no. <laughs> Do we wait for him? Fuck you. <laughs> Did his internet that's, crash? That's not him faking it, you can tell, because the pixels are staying the same. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of crazy. Mixer is gone. I want to talk about this, but we need Dob. This is so weird for, for me to talk about. I'm not allowed to talk about a lot of things. You, <laughs> just talk about what you can talk about. Say that. I mean, it was, it was just we'll, a we'll go move. over. We'll, we'll go over the what's been given to us, obviously. Yeah, it was, it's, it's a business move as, you know, as PR, like, like PR said, it's we, just, we it just keep going without Dom, I guess. It, I mean, up to you. All right, we'll just keep talking about, it. we'll just keep him there. <laughs> uh, like you said, yeah, it's a business move. Um, it's a business move and you can't, you can't, I mean, of course you can like ridicule Microsoft as much as you want, but again, if you have a failing business, you don't stick with it. You decide to salvage it and that's exactly what they did they salvaged it it was a failing it just didn't work because twitch and youtube are too big to compete with they uh put a lot of money not just for mixer not mixer i mean they, microsoft is an incredibly profitable one of the most richest companies right and they're they invested heavily in mixer 30 million on Ninja and 10 million on Shroud. So 40 million dollars alone on two streamers, not including the other streamers that they invested in. But what's really interesting to me is that they decided to close down before their contracts were even expired. So they put in I think they put in like 40 plus million inve investing invested into these streamers just to kind of terminate them earlier than expected right i mean that's a very hard place to you know to put any business in where whether it's like do we cut off our ends now and just take the huge l because that that saying like as the company that like making that kind of taking that kind of action means that we we would have lost more if we didn't if we hmm. if we kept going with mixer so so they either that means that they're they're yeah. putting it into something else. I don't know what it is, but they decided to take the fat L and commit their sources to something else. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not like Microsoft is uh, going bankrupt or anything. They have money. No. They they're just willing. They just probably found something else better to invest in because they're pulling out not just Mixer but also their stores, closing all retail stores, almost all, and their main stores are just going to become flagship stores. Yeah. So Microsoft is downsizing a lot, which means they're going to go big somewhere else. And they, I think they realize that they don't really care about Mixer no more. They found, they found bigger and better aspirations to invest in. Okay, time to make moves. Denzi, big smiling little Microsoft. <laughs> Microsoft boy, oh, he's like, yep, they're making moves. And I, I kind of like, know the moves. I kind of like how Microsoft is treating it, though. Like, they're not firing anyone, right? From what I nope. believe from their retail stores. So maybe they're shifting people around. There's a lot of a lot of moves going on behind the scenes. They gave Mixer a chance. Realized it wasn't worth it. Realized that the ceiling was probably a little too low for them, considering how hard it is to overcome uh Twitch and the fact that YouTube will probably beat everything in a couple of years anyways. And I think that that's fine. That's how a company, you know, that's how a company works. You you take risks and you sometimes it doesn't work out. I think if they started maybe a year or two earlier, they probably could have had a, a better backing, a better foundation. But I think that's just Microsoft's way of saying, hey, let's take this gamble because this is hot right now. And it flopped. So. Yeah, definitely. Like to us, like the couple million they invested and they took an L. Ninja right, Shroud yeah. got a bag, but honestly, with the amount of money Microsoft, let me let me look it up right real quick. Microsoft's net worth. Microsoft's net worth is now over one trillion dollars, as of June seventh. I don't know if that's true. I'm just 
taking a glance at it. That's just basically, yeah. That's so this is literally like chump people. change for them, regardless if it actually is one trillion or not. They have a couple hundred billion, and they kind of just gave up on this investment because they want they found something else that they would rather pursue. Is which is um is what I'm assuming. They're not stupid. If if I don't see any news from Microsoft in the rest of this year, by quarter three even, I'm gonna be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> like there's no way you pull out these stores, there's no way you guys get rid of Mixer and not do something huge. There's something coming from them. And that's not the Xbox. Gotta be something. <laughs> yeah, it'll be uh, very interesting. I know you can't really say much about it, Denzi. As a, <laughs> no, I wish I could. I a, wish as I an could. Employee, but, but I, no, yeah. th this is just general business 101. From from a profitable company, you, this is definitely what they're doing. We'll see in the next few months they, yeah. what they there's, do decide to do. What's funny is that like I only know like the surface level shit. Like I yeah, only I I literally found out this morning that that the retail stores are closing down. So if you think about like the news that I get, what they already have in store, ha they haven't even yep. told me about. It's there's a lot. There's a lot that's going on. It's interesting. Yeah, they definitely have a huge game plan. And mm -hmm. when Microsoft was closing, I really wish Dom could get back on. We go I know. to he missed this whole topic. <laughs> Where is he? Should we uh should we wait for him? I think we should, maybe. I don't know. Call before, him? <laughs> we'll wait for him before the next topic. Because he missed this topic, but he should be on he should be here for the next few topics. His internet actually took a dump. Be fire was just like, just redo the podcast. I just know. Got it. We'll just read chat. Start on the top we'll just, again. Just take where's a break script, to read chat. Where, where's the transcript, guys? Oh, oh he's, back. he's back. Hello? His internet is back, but he's not physically back. Oh <laughs> I hope he knows his cam's on. Does it come in like it comes naked. back just butt ass naked. <laughs> hanging up, big enough hanging up. <laughs> yeah man. It's definitely I think the most This is definitely the craziest week of of like the internet history in terms of the gaming, streaming, Twitch culture, YouTube culture. Yeah. It definitely is. There's just so many moves. A stream of this size has never been banned. A profitable company, a very huge company like Microsoft is making moves. Also, Facebook oh, thank God. Facebook Gaming is doing a pretty cool thing with giving 2500 to their new streamers. I think that's really dope. I think that's my bad, guys. I went. I went on a little vacation for. for oh, oh. Nice. I hear a little background noise when you talk. Talk again. Toodaloo. Oh no, you're good. <laughs> you missed the whole topic, Dom. But it's my okay. Bad. Long story short, mm -hmm. Mixer's gone. Microsoft's getting rid of stores. They're looking for big plays in the near future. Big they're gonna invest in something else that's not streaming. And uh, what were, I fully forgot. Okay, so now that topic is done, mm -hmm. another narrative that people were making to why Microsoft closed Mixer, including me, I also thought this was the narrative, was that the CEO of Mixer was accused of sexual allegations. And I believe it was also confirmed. And other than just the CEO of Mixer, Tons of YouTubers and tons of Twitch streamers have been getting called out for sexual misconduct and sexual streamers, sexual abuse. And it's been a very wild couple of days and it's going to continue escalating this way. There are tons of streamers. I said the wrong word, I said sexual. There are tons of streamers and people coming out and it's pretty insane. The streamer ban the influencer canceling is at an all-time high mm -hmm. and i think one of the most apparent ones for twitch currently i believe is his name is literally bless rng 
also known as Brad Jolly. He confirmed the allegations. He said that everything that did happen, he owned up to it, that he's learning from it, that he's improving from it. But since he did uh, actually confirm it, he's banned from Twitch. I believe he's also permanently banned from Twitch. The Bless RNG emo is removed from Twitch. And this is only the start of it. I don't... I really feel like... Like, I'm curious to see how Twitch is handling all these cases because they're literally jumping the gun and just completely eradicating the emo, eradicating anything world tied to the channel, the streamer. Mm -hmm. I and think it's, I think it's it's <clears throat> it's right, it's right, but it's so weird. It's so weird that they're taking like such a snap like act, I don't like they're taking action, and it it's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't think they are. I think they're dead. They release statements and they're monitoring a lot of the allegations. But Bless RNG made a public statement saying that he did do that. So for someone like him, it's a confirmed case. So they are going to ban him. But there are still tons of other streamers and tons of other YouTubers that they're investigating. And they're still taking their time. And. I think it was a few days ago, it might have been yesterday, day before yesterday, where a bunch of small communities and streamers tried to do this Twitch blackout thing. Mm -hmm. where no, one, no, no one streamed one day. Mm -hmm. That was a very scuffed attempt to force Twitch to... I, I, I don't really know the whole movement behind it. I don't really... I just know that they wanted to make Twitch act upon all their allegations and stuff but you know it takes time not all allegations are true we've had a few of people signing up for themselves recently Wait, let me let me let me let me get this uh let me go let me dig deeper if you don't mind okay so so you're saying that these people sexually assaulted all these women it's a mixture of yeah just sexual assault actual rape taking advantage of people when they're drunk or they could or some cases they just say something that's very inappropriate especially in a professional setting mm -hmm. and there's a lot of bro culture in the tech space in the gaming world mm -hmm. so it's really hard if you're one of the few females employed there whether it's right. in tech you know esports gaming so there's a lot of bad shit that goes on behind the scenes locker room talk you know how guys act with other guys and then when there's a girl involved sometimes they push a push the boundary push the line too far and yeah there's a lot of girls coming out whether it is a part of their past that's not related to gaming at all some girls are actually just coming out about what happened to them when they were younger and what's even happening right now and some girls are coming out about other YouTubers and streamers that are doing things. Which is very, uh, very interesting. You know, there are people in power, people in position. So they're scared to go against them. They're scared to fight them. Which is, you know, perfect example is the Mixer CEO and uh, the esports organization Method. Both CEOs, literally the top of the company, have allegations against them. Both confirmed already. So people are leaving Method. Lots of big streamers are leaving Method. Players are leaving Method. That organization is probably going to be dissolved. And Mixer, Mixer is getting shut down at the same time that the allegations came up. So that person is probably going to fly under the radar. I don't even know that person's name anymore. Okay, well... I have a question <clears throat> regarding this topic. Mm -hmm. So you think you do you think it's a clout thing that they they took advantage of or what is it like you you think if they didn't have clout even if they didn't have clout would they do s something like this? Uh men are trash. Men are trash. <laughs> Long story short. 
Hundred percent. Uh, some it's toxic masculinity. Some is mm -hmm. power. You know, they're in a position of power, so they're gonna abuse mm -hmm. it. And you know, right, clout, guys, just money, whether it's obviously. clout, whether it's money, shit like that. And it's usually the people in power with toxic masculinity that mm -hmm. do stupid shit. And especially in this space, man, gamers they grow up losers. They grow up with a lot of problems. They're Watch like, what you say, bro. Real, realistically, <laughs> realistically, gamer, right? And you're I'm not a L -O you're like you're like a fucking gamer. You don't have friends growing up. You don't really get girls much growing up. So now that you're in the spotlight, you're in the limelight, and you're getting attraction. You you're getting traffic from the other, you know, the other gender, or whatever you're interested in. Right. That's when they're like, oh wow, I get girls now. Let me start like you know flexing. Like they they finally are getting the attention that they never really had. Which is why they start acting up. Scary, man. Which is why a lot of these gamers are acting up. And it's not just gamers, though, man. This shit happens everywhere. Everyone in the business world. Yeah, anywhere. I think this is a very serious issue all over the world. Men are trash in general, honestly. First off, man. You need to stop talking about men, dude. Alright? Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. I don't, I'm not going to say this. I'm not sexist at all, bro. But people are just trash in general. Yeah, right? it is. People make stupid decisions, right? Especially if they're, if they have a, a pedestal, right? And people praise them, right? It could be anybody, man. It could be guys. It could be girls. It's unfortunate that it's most. Uh, most cases are guys. Yeah. And then, like, dude, like, it's it's much easier to brush off. It's easier to brush it off when you're a guy, right? Like you know, um, nah, man, nah. Like I, there's case like I've already, I've even been assaulted. You know, I've been kissed by strangers. I've been touched. But to me, it's like, you know, my ego can be like, oh, it happened because I get bitches. Like my masculine, toxic <laughs> ego can that. That's how I can perceive yeah. that situation. Brian, you, you know what cooties. I mean? Like it, I can perceive that situation no, in that yeah. in that ego. I know you're but, but then on the other side, like if it w if the r roles were reversed, it's, it's fucking insanely damaging for them. Yeah, you know, and there's people that came out and they're like physically getting overpowered by men because, like, you know, biologically, guys are gonna be taller, are gonna be stronger. We don't have to have yeah. that fear for the most part, unless you're like short and scrawny, then good luck. You know what I mean? Unlucky, but. No, yeah, gener I can't relate. <laughs> no, but like generally, like you know, we we just can't. Yeah, culturally it's different, and biologically, like we can find a way to flee much easier than most females can. Yeah, I, you know what? I, I mean, this this is definitely an issue that could still be. You know, it it could still be going still right now. You know, behind everybody's like closed doors. Probably happening right now somewhere, it's man. Pro yeah, like most actually, likely, it's probably not probably. It's right definitely now. happening somewhere right now, even during. But I this think quarantine, COVID. It's only right that these all these people are speaking out. You know, um, because it's not right. It's not. It's not humane. To take advantage of another person like this. Yeah. It's crazy, man. It's crazy being the victim, bro. Because it really messes you suck. up mentally, bro. I think f mental, mentally, or mental injury is way worse than physical injury, bro. That could ruin someone's life, you know. Yeah, the physical, da the physical damage. I mean, it sucks, but I feel like you will eventually heal. But your mental, bro, I mean, your mental tough, health, man. dude. Your brain, the brain is so crazy, man. And once you damage yeah. it, bro, it's like it's so hard to heal. You're scarring someone's you're life. You're scarred, man. and it's just so hard to overcome. Exactly, it's crazy. Sure. Wait, so all these people are a bunch of streamers? Nah, slash... there's it, right now. It's the whole industry because right now, the whole industry. all the anyone in the gaming industry, whether they work for a game developer, mm -hmm. whether they stream at Twitch, whether they make YouTube content, this whole space right, right now is kind of the the girls are starting to come up. And, and claim uh these allegations but the issue is I don't, I don't i can't think of the a good analogy for it 
But it's just hard to prove. It just right. sucks. But then there's two sides to a coin where some guys are being accused for clout or falsely accused <clears throat> just for vengeance and revenge. Well, see, this is the thing, right? It, it, it's, this is a saying, you're innocent until proven guilty. Right. So, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying that this is wrong, but I mean, if you're going to come out but right now, the way like, that I mean, I mean, it could it could happen to anybody, bro. <laughs> like, I haven't touched anybody, but some girl out there could say, hey, this person touched me in a, I, you know what I'm saying? Malicious I, I don't know. You, like you said, innocent until proven guilty. But I feel like this, like the, the whole point of the movement is to kind of give people a platform to have the, you know, the confidence or whatever it is to finally say it. But mm -hmm. the whole innocent until proven guilty thing is uh, that it just, it doesn't sit right with me just because with, you know, with right. these cases, like we, yeah, I, re I respect that. us. Yeah. Like us is like, men, like we, it happens less. So like, it's not mm -hmm. something that we completely like understand, but I think mm -hmm. that with, and I don't, I'm not even going to say it just because it it like it bothers me but like when when people get that when it when people get into that experience where they have that thing that happens to them and then it becomes like an allegation or whatever it bothers me when people like say that oh the guy's innocent until proven guilty because mm -hmm. you know there are ways that you can support the person coming out but not fully agreeing that it was you know whatever they may have said it was because there's again there's cases where they where it's true and where the cases where it's not i think mm -hmm. oh i'm lagging a bit hello oh, oh. i think there i think there are ways that you can support the person for coming out even though you may or may not believe them mm -hmm. but right now right. uh for the people to be convicted it's innocent until proven guilty right like if you want to take your sexual offender i don't know word for it to court mm -hmm. and actually put them to jail or anything it is innocent pro until proven guilty it's very hard to prove something like this especially if it's all word of mouth you don't have receipts you don't have proof you don't have video evidence right that's very rare to have any of that i think but, right now that, that that's one of the uh the hottest argument right but now. right now on the internet it is guilty until proven innocent in my eyes which isn't necessarily bad but it, it right, is it's a case by case. Though. Yeah, but it's unfortunate that the innocent men have to prove themselves that they are innocent. Right now it's mm -hmm. it's a whole word of mouth. I believe the first one is a uh, Henry G, right? Like some CS commentator or something. Yeah. He was one of those that was he was he was claimed, right? Like he literally had to come out and fight for his for his allegations, make his own mm -hmm. response to prove that he was uh innocent and even then right now people are starting to uh join his side but when she first came out when the girl first came out about it it was cancel henry g immediately you know guilty immediately so proven innocent i feel like is how the internet works so people are quick to join the victim of the situation of that narrative but even then it does seem like henry did validate his his uh his side uh -huh. but at the end of the day it is a battle of word of mouth right who's who's you know who's correct here and, and it kind of sucks because like it seems like henry's a good person that he really didn't fuck up but what if she was telling it what if she's actually right like you know it's it's all perception of the situations as well it's a huge gray area Right, right, exactly. And, and I think that's uh, that's one of the reasons <laughs> why people are arguing about this. Like in court, it's innocent until proven guilty. On social right. media, it's guilty until proven innocent. And people are complaining that it's kind of like crazy. people are complaining that it's like that. But I think it's I think that's a good balance. You know, <laughs> I feel like <laughs> it sucks for the innocent men, but it might have like out of trash men that get by man it's just like you know and it's the internet man the internet is savage bro that's why i watch what i say it, on the i internet. forgot the now i saw like an analogy about it. it's like would you rather have would you rather have 10 
10 convicted men and one innocent man, uh, guy go to jail or have them all be free? You know, it's like, do you throw that one innocent person in jail to capture 10 more bad people or do you just let them all free? That, 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 was, that was like an analogy that yeah. I saw on the internet. So it's kind of like, you know, mm -hmm. it's crazy, man. Like a give or take. It's it's very right. It's for exactly. the greater good. Yeah, it's that's crazy, because anybody could be set up at this point. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, scary, that's man. that's it's that's scary, what's, bro. That's what's scary. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody, anybody it, who has it, a grudge on you could say it's... one thing, right? And then you don't even know, but your names under the you know get thrown under the bus. And then the innocent guy has, or innocent whoever, has to go right. through hell just to prove that they're innocent. That's right. That's the this, worst. Yeah, the, I mean, don't don't get me wrong. It is bad, but I'm just looking out for just anybody who who, who might be getting set up. But I still think you know it's a good saying? movement overall. Girls yeah. are all coming it's, out. It's awareness. It's it's awareness. I think that's important. Right. Girls are all coming out. The the good guys are going to defend themselves. And the bad guys are going to try to defend themselves, but you can kind of tell for the most part. Yeah. Some are like gray areas. I was reading Syndicate's thing, and I can't tell who's right in that situation. But it's two <laughs> girls against one guy, and none of the stories really add up. And so it's just like, uh, ah, that's rough. That's, I don't know. And, and, and what sucks is nothing, flag, nothing's going to happen at the end of the day unless right. they have concrete proof. Yeah, like unless he has concrete like and and even then like even if he doesn't have concrete proof the fact that they don't he's gonna get away with it right it's crazy oh scary man it's, it's tough. scary and how everything is done through the internet you know what i'm saying yeah like all 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 your juries that you gotta prove that you're innocent is the internet you got to prove to a cancel culture. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, Imagine man, that. That's scary, bro. That's As scary. Gold but said at a the great same thing. time, I do hope that if someone is doing something wrong, I do hope that they get the punishment that they deserve. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As Michael said, it's possible to support and take someone who's making an allegation seriously while also not immediately canceling the person who it was made against. But see, that's the oh, thing, man. Yeah, the internet that, yeah. is so quick to cancel. Yeah, it really is. Mm -hmm. It's and once so... it's rough. people are so <laughs> humans are so fickle, you know. Once they have their mindset to something, there's like yeah, it's hard to especially, it's hard to sway them back. Especially if you support that person. That's yeah, the worst, and you're a little more you you're a little more biased, biased uh, exactly. etc. I mean, a great example is Chris Brown, for you know, for example, right? The whole Chris Brown Rihanna thing. And we thought Chris Brown was gonna be canceled, but no, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Everybody still fucks with him. He's arresting. That's a hard truth. That's a hard pill to swallow, baby. Yeah, there's still fireworks going outside. Just wait till more fireworks get. <laughs> I think cancel culture is is annoying. It's dumb, but it needs it. Like it does need to happen. You know, it can't not happen. I, I, I get it. It's annoying. You can get canceled for the smallest things. People dig deep to get rid of you. But for the people that genuinely deserve to get canceled, like, that option does need to be there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's that just needs to be addressed. It's just, it's, cancel culture is happening way too often over small things. Over small things. Especially, That's like, crazy. especially the ones where, like, people tweeted something in 2013, 2012, 2013, 2014, like, this guy did this or tweeted these words. Right. He should be canceled. Like, I think those should be taken with a grain of salt. <laughs> Internet was different back then. People weren't as sensitive. People were a lot more wild. And, you know, one bad thing doesn't really make up an entire human. Now, I would definitely be canceled. If, if you pointed out my evils in my life, the bad things I've done in my life, I would be canceled. And I think you could say that about anyone. You've done a lot of bad shit and dark shit. Yeah, no, man. who hasn't? Especially when you're Everybody young. Everybody has skeletons in the closet. Yeah, everyone, everyone's got skeletons and secrets, man. So 
I really do believe in the greater good. You can improve as a person. If you're in your late 20s and you're older doing crazy shit, then maybe you're just a bad person and you deserve to be canceled. <laughs> but when you, man, like the shit I did in my teens, bro, I would get canceled every other day for the ignorant shit I did when I was young. You know, so like when I see these yeah. other younger people or kids doing stuff when they were young, man, free fa- free t- free take K, you feel me? Like maybe free you're take K. but nah, nah, keep him locked up. He's evil. But you know, like <laughs> you, people just you, you got to give people some time. Some people, not everyone. Mm-hmm. It's just pretty wild, man. It's crazy, man. Crazy. So crazy how the internet could like lift you up and make you and also bring you down. Yeah, it can easily you. take you down. That's Completely crazy. Destroy you. Yep. That's crazy, man. That's why, man. I feel I feel like everybody wants clout, right? I mean, this is like the main reason yeah. why why this happened, right? I don't think it's for clouds. They want to pure themselves, like, you know, expressing right, yourself. Right. I mean, cloud is power, money is power, right? I mean, you wouldn't go up to somebody, right, and be like, hey man. Right, like sexually assault them, right? I mean, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't get. What? Wait, wait, that that that's just like. I would say the people that are doing it to take advantage of the movement is doing it for clout. Oh. Okay. Or yeah. or Here, they're. How about to... this? How about this? Mm-hmm. How about in a way? Because it kind of it kind of makes sense what you guys are doing, but like the more descriptive way to say it is that they're trying to clean whatever dirt that they that people might have on them in the internet and it it tries to they try to create a narrative and say that hey this happened to me because of this right not necessarily clout but in a way it's trying to make themselves look better when right, they I mean, know what, what what's scary though yeah. is that like sometimes it they'll malform the story and turn it into something that it wasn't that's aka than, the yeah, trigger word the, the trigger r word like oh trigger warning. maybe 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 i actually you know maybe i got whatever Oh uh, yeah, we gotta put a know? big trigger warning in the beginning of this podcast. Actually, uh, that's why I don't I'll, I'll, I'll add that. <laughs> but you guys uh, get what I'm saying? Like, maybe some of these people literally don't know that they're doing that. That's what's scary. Yeah, I, they're, they're turning a story to fit their man, narrative as a influencer, or whatever you are. Not even an influencer. This is this is out of my. How do I how do I say this? Out of experience, I have a friend that. He, you know, he he was talk to, talking to this girl for a bit. They've been on talking terms. They've been flirting. Kind of fucking around with each other. And they both drank. And she doesn't drink often, but she drinks sometimes. You know, they both drank. They hooked up. And they, like, you know, the next day, to him, he had good intentions all the way through. He didn't realize, like, you know, he thought she just, you know, it was just an... It's a normal hookup, you know, like that, like regular hookup. But to her, her perspective, he took advantage of her when she was, you know, under the influence. And, you know, I feel like those situations are very tough because, you know, it can go both ways. Mm. Right. I, I can see why she felt that way. But then if you put another girl in her same exact situation, she might have not felt that way. Yeah. And she would have just been like, oh, yeah, we hooked up because we've been talking. They literally, you know, I, I don't know. It's just that, it, that, it, that could be it, too, man. It's really tough because two people can perceive the situation differently. That That's that's why it's just such a gray area. There's no black and white. It's just it's insane. Yeah. Really, it really does suck. Uh, the, one of the one of the craziest, <laughs> pro- probably one of the craziest stories I've ever heard from Twitch, man. Yeah, I've been reading these, some like, stories, sexual... and some of them are so bad. Some of them aren't even related to other streamers and YouTubers. They just talk about mm-hmm. how they grew up. This is a daily thing. This this is a nor this not normal, but this this happens all over. This the happens world. regularly. This thing, this regularly. would have been happening if this movement didn't happen. Like imagine that. Imagine yeah, all the stuff right. we don't know. All the people that don't yeah some people haven't even some people haven't even came out and some people and they probably never will gonna right. keep it to themselves 
It's crazy, man. Some people are also using this to air out their dirty laundry and create their own narratives and try to make make themselves look good. Or like Dom said earlier, some people are I believe in like Henry G's case, like it seems like she's a jealous ex girlfriend that trying to fuck like fuck over life. Right, man. Like, you gotta, just, like people have whole grudges. No, have man. like ulterior motives to it. Those are the ones that make the Exactly. Bad. And it sucks because like tarnishing the movement. Just like Black Lives Matter, man. Like the looters are making the movement look bad. Just the people that try to take advantage of the chaos. It's crazy. Okay, what I'm about to say right now, I don't want you guys taking it the wrong way. But do you think this is like a distraction to what's really, you know, distraction to like BLM movement? No, I think... Or do you think they go hand in hand? I think... I think the BLM movement helped helped this movement come forward. Mm-hmm. I feel like everyone has been on thin ice. Like everyone's been on edge. That's that's the right word. Because of quarantine mm-hmm. first. Quarantine first of all, everyone's been on edge. People are like really tripping on life. Like anything can snap. Shit can happen. George Floyd mm-hmm. happened. You know, that people people are already fed up. This shit's been happening for years. And then on top of everyone being in this whole COVID quarantine craziness, George Floyd situation happened and no one, no one could fucking handle it no more. Everyone just blew up. See, that's the thing, man. That, 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 that's, that's one of the things that pisses me off is the, the fact that why do we have to be quarantined? Because this has been happening for so nah, long. No, man, like you know protesting and fighting back has already been happening. Yeah, but, but some like, something just, needs just to right now, something needs to be a catalyst. Hopping on it. Nah, it's it's been it's happened before. It, yeah, a catalyst. No, this is I, the biggest. I'm talking about this is. I don't like, think why does I don't want to. I don't think it's the die. biggest. I think it's the biggest. It seems the biggest because of social media. I think yeah, exactly. I think yeah. literally just because social media is around now and we have camera and we have proof that people can fight back. Back then it was all word of mouth. People would just talk to each other. People would just let each other know. There was no video proof. There was no evidence. But now everything is being literally recorded. So now that we literally have, this is a perfect recording of that situation. Of an innocent man barely resisting eight minutes of being on his neck. Eight plus minutes. And it's crazy. it just, obviously everyone's going to snap. Mm-hmm. It's a good time for everyone to protest. On top of that, I also think the Me Too movement or everyone that's coming out now, all it took was a couple of people to come out. I think they were still, I think everyone is feeling very woke right now, more than ever. Mm-hmm. Everyone is feeling more woke. And I think that's really good. Everyone's being more proactive. Mm-hmm. So I think it just snowballs. Like, it's one thing, everything is just right. snowballing. Right. And, and all it took was one person to speak up because they're feeling very proactive. It snowballed to what we have today. And it's going to keep going. I don't know. It's it's a lot. I think more is going to happen just because of BLM. And I think that it's that very, like, not the hero we want, but the hero we need type of movement where it is the catalyst of, oh, this shit's already happening? Oh, yeah, let's bring up this other thing because people need to realize that this shit's happening around the world. And it needs to be it, they're, they're aware. Spreading awareness is like meta, meta right now. I, I don't know why I said that, but like spreading mm-hmm. awareness is the thing to do now. Where because social media is going and going, despite you know how bad it is that it it's just a cesspool of one week this happens, the next week something else happens. It's gonna keep going, and I think it's just gonna not get worse, but more things that we didn't expect to become a movement will become a movement. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it'll. The internet has such, has so much power. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's, it's different be, yeah. every week. I think people are finally utilizing the internet. When when we first had the internet, we just used it for memes and shits and giggles. For real. And now people right. are using it as a platform, more mm-hmm. now than ever. So as time goes on, it'll. 
continue. Everyone's gonna continue to push out their narratives. Continue to push out information. Use everyone's platform, whatever how big or small your platform is. I think everybody should speak out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because this is wrong, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like imagine, just imagine if this is your daughter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. There's ton. There's so many like people. People are like actively going out and looking for. I saw I saw earlier today like that some EDM girl like in the like pretty popular EDM community was being hella racist. They're actively trying to cancel her. There's like that Karen lady that was being racist to Asian people a few mm -hmm. weeks back. People are actively trying to seek out this this I, this is the issue with cancel culture like people are actively seeking out to cancel people but for the most part exactly. but for the most part they are canceling the right people you gotta cancel the right people it's just like so obviously like some of the unfortunately some people are gonna get randomly canceled for some some shit that they dig deep but like currently i i think they're doing a relatively good job i even know like I think it was like the BTS army, like some K-pop group. Oh, yeah. Like on Twitter, they went fucking like sicko mode on one of the Trump rallies and like <laughs> they did made it so like no one could show up by like reserving shit. People, people are literally that. actually utilizing the internet for like for movements right now, and it's it's really dope, really dope to see. So like, I mean, because we're on top of this and uh, top of this topics on top of this, um, and I. I personally almost had like a kind of like a mini breakdown if I'm being honest. But um it's it kind of hurts. It's really disheartening for me personally as like somebody that revolves around like gaming and stuff and streaming and Twitch culture and all that stuff. And I, I and I'm bringing this up because this this kind of ties into like our theme which is behind the stream as a streamer whatever. How do we feel about this topic whatever blah blah blah. But as I was saying seeing all this stuff on the news and just kind of seeing it seeing it like bring out the people that you personally know and like seeing it how it affects them it is really depressing and that's a very like strong word that i kind of don't i mean i it's it's cool to like joke around it's not cool to joke around about it but like usually the people that like are depressed normally joke about it and sometimes it kind of like you can kind of tell like oh shit like you can tell that they really are and like as somebody that's not i haven't been clinically depressed but like that has experienced it mm -hmm. it really makes me feel like it like there's some kind of like hopelessness like looming like oh what I, like i'm gonna wonder what's gonna happen next week that we're gonna figure out like it's it really sucks to be in this kind of like position where you're constantly getting bombarded with news of like oh this person was allegedly whatever and then you know this person yeah. that and then you know you know bom's happening and like all of this stuff it you guys i like you guys i recommend that like if you guys are feeling like super like bummed out like and if you're at home and you're not you're just tired of hearing this hearing all this stuff sit in a discord with like your friends and talk about it just talking about it really helps hanging out with people just right. because you know on top of that with covid we can't hang out we can't see our homies and talk about this yeah. you are stuck at your in your house thinking about this stuff and if you guys don't talk about it then I think it kind of sits in you and you, it's something that isn't healthy for you. And I think that talking about it with other people, whether your friends or your community you're in is really important, like for your mental health. Exactly. It was the first time I would say in years that I genuinely had to take a break from social media. Beginning of the year, I was, I was very paranoid of COVID. Still kind of am, obviously not as much. When COVID was first on its on the rise, I was like so stressed out. Every time I checked Twitter, you know, Twitter was a great tool for entertainment. But it felt like for weeks it was just every time I opened it, it was just crazy news on COVID, on pe the increased number of people getting it and the death rate. And I was just like every time I opened it, making me sad. Right. And it definitely it's it's really well, different because it was an app that I always use for fun, but it became so right. serious. And it even got to the point where when BLM started getting really big, I was like, 
When I, first, I, I was actually really fucked for like the first two days when, when I saw George Floyd. You know, if you don't know, I'm black. And it, <gasps> you know, and I don't it, know you're black. I'm, I'm half black, right? But when the police see me, I'm only black. And I've been in situations where mm-hmm. I've gotten pulled over probably because of my skin for no reason. I've been asked by police if I had warrants. Like, I've been in really shitty situations with police before. And it just re- actually, like, stresses me out. Like, I'm genuinely worried of running into the bad cops. Mm-hmm. Especially, you know, well, when I see people get, when I see police shoot at people, it's kind of like, it's one thing, right? Like, the, this, this officer made a split-second decision made a huge mistake and killed someone so for george floyd it it wasn't a split second decision it was a whole eight minutes 23 seconds of a bad decision or whatever the exact time is and it's that really that his his death actually did hit me harder than than most people i mean it was really hard to kind of overcome and i even had some of my black friends call me too like they or talk to me because they felt like they couldn't go on social media anymore it was just so much pain like right. for them to go on Crazy. like they want to be a part of the movement and really understand it but they were just in so much pain they like and it was like it was it was good that people were speaking up and giving more information and knowledge but like they just like bro, like i can't look like every time i look it's just i just reminded of that moment and I felt the same too. It's like, okay, like I spent less time on social media those days than I ever did. And I felt bad because like I should be one of the people really on this to get the information, to get the knowledge. But I felt like every time I was opening the app and looking, it was just like, fuck, bro. Like this is fucking with me mentally, man. And she's been really bad. But like, even and even power, bro. Even in Cali, man, like. It's fucking like actual hangings right now in California. Yeah, man. Out of all states, California, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, which I what I consider a very diverse and a safer state, but it's not. It's it's literally happening down the street from me. I was in. I was literally like parked in my car, fucking paranoid that I would get pulled up by some fucking racist people and get thrown in a tree. Like actually. Just because I knew it was happening in my vicinity. And that's just Dude. not. And of, of course, I could have been ignorant and not seen this from social media. And I would have never known. I would be living my day like normal. But because I got this information from social media, which isn't a bad thing. I'm just saying like social media is very influence, influential. Mm-hmm. Ignorance is bliss type thing. But because I would see these things of um these killings in my vicinity it just makes me paranoid of both just police and just people around me yeah just I for mean, just for the color of my skin you know like this right and me. as as streamers and viewers and just people that consume like game gaming culture and stuff it's our second nature right that's what we know we know to go on social media to see what our you know our inf- our influencers or people we like watching on stream what are they up to so when you when you put us in front of you know what social media is now and what that happened and you know all that stuff that you said brian that you saw of course you can't avoid it like you're going to see it eventually and it's 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 important to talk about because that it'll meant it it'll mentally deteriorate you if you don't talk about it with your friends or people you're comfortable with or like it's it's very it's a very what's the word for it like you are as people that hang out on twitch a lot i feel like we're all inclined to talk more to our friends than to our own families about these kind of things and that's why it's i always want to highlight how important it is to you know talk to your friends on discord and say hey how do you feel about this and all that stuff just letting it out some kind of outlet i think is so so important for sure i've even had homies say that they argued with their parents about blm Anything, I so. I argued about it with them. You know, older the older generation, it's harder for them to understand. So you talk to your friend. 
but I don't understand how these people don't understand. Yeah. Tough. Sure. And man, especially who... when you know someone is going through something, you gotta reach out to those people. You know what I'm saying? Ask them how they're feeling. That yeah. could honestly change somebody's day. Oh, this person asked me how I was feeling. That means that person cares about me. Wow. Exactly. You just realize how close you guys actually are. <laughs> like, people don't just, realize the platform that they've been blessed with. You know what I'm saying? And the power they've been blessed with. A lot of people who has power take advantage of it. You know, when you can really do some real good with it. And that's why we don't have superheroes in this universe. I feel like there's going to be a lot more bad people than good people. If we had powers. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's tough. Actually, here's a true story. I almost went to jail. Because there was a... Uh, there was a Hispanic dude in my old neighborhood. And um, I guess he was breaking into cars. Right. And at the, sa the same night, my cousin went for a jog. Right. And I was going to scare him. So I went outside and I was running. So I, 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 I was at the end of the block waiting for him. And two cops pulled me over. They're like, bro, they, they, they just like... Bro, they, they flanked me, bro. <laughs> flanked the hell out of me. And then they put me, they made me sit on the curb and they tried to get all these information off of me. And I kept telling them, look, man, first off, I'm just here to scare, mess with my cousin. He's running. He should be coming around now. But he thought I was the Mexican dude that was breaking into cars. I was like, yo, man, I'm Filipino. I'm not Mexican. You know what I'm saying? He got all these information they, they had. Bro, they... they it's so crazy that they brought two more cop cars, bro, just to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? And they're yeah. not nice people, bro. I'm telling you, man. Those cops, when they came out, they were like, yo, hey, hands up. Bro, they <laughs> they were not civil with me, bro. They wanted to, like, curb stomp my face, bro. And I could tell because they, the, they had that look, bro. Scary, man. The moment they, you know, not all cops are bad, of course. If it's like a normal situation, might not be as aggressive. But the moment they, mm -hmm. moment they think you're any type of enemy or threat, it's, 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 it's scary, so. man. It's dangerous. Yeah, man, it's crazy. The the second they feel like they're they're, you're a threat. It's like you you're like the enemy of. Sometimes you can't you don't even have time or. But see, you know, this the thing. I feel like yourself. people nowadays. You know, they judge the book by its cover all the oh, 100%. time. Oh, 100%. All the time. And it pisses me off, man. You're going to have a dude with, with like, you know, like, a regular dude you see. Man, look like a gangster, dude, right? Look like a straight-up gangster. And you talk to him, pretty nice dude, man. Pretty damn nice dude. More of the, what the, the, you know, the main point I'm trying to make here is that you can't judge the book by its cover right can't man and i feel like a lot of people with power do and it's crazy yeah it's crazy a lot of people in power whether it's you know any in anything in any position man where the sexual allegations came in you know the blm movement the me too sexual movement. assault it's just everything generally comes from Power or someone feeling right. like they have power, they're above people. Right. Guys manipulating, and, and it's just. And like something like that's... that, like everything that Brian's saying, everything that Dom's saying, like you guys are the reason, like why I like if I wouldn't like the only reason, like why I would want to like come up or whatever is to have is I want I literally want to be the voice of that of that. To have that magnitude, that audience to say, hey, like, this shit happens. And I think it's important that people know that. Because a lot of people don't know that. Like, I think one of the biggest streamers that I've ever seen come out on, on like, recent things of whatever movement was Lupo's take on BLM. He, 
went insane and he went off on his stream right. about all of this stuff and you know big you know big props to him and he's like a he's definitely a stream that a streamer that I look up to because he is he literally said I do not care if I lose you know partnerships mm -hmm. or whatever but this is how it's going down and you guys need to know about that and you could yeah. see it in his eyes he was he was feeling it the emotions were running and I think to have somebody speak up to you know like all the gamers is is so important because a lot of people can't they don't have that you know that platform to, to speak up on because i know that if you know if brian or dom were to get that kind of clout you guys would be talking about it so i'm I, really I would rant about it right? really proud of lupo man i I love lupo even ninja honestly really? ninja was for for weeks to days was just always tweeting about it always saying things about it he even made like I don't, I don't know if it was a TikTok, but he made like a troll video, like mocking Trump. Like he was just, <laughs> he was just, Ninja was not having it anymore. And these are mm -hmm. two, you know, I believe just completely Caucasian males at like, you know, the peak of their careers willing to speak out against the injustice. And I really do. Just people don't, don't, like both of them. I feel like there's too many negativity. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And not a lot of people spread the positivity. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I feel like, mm -hmm. and this is true, this is what I've noticed. A lot of people who, I wouldn't say bad entirely, you know what I'm saying? But like, you know, like the douchebag, you know, vibe. <laughs> prosper on the internet man they love that shit bro yeah they i mean like the it. aggressive doc we were they, talking about that yeah. tyler won <laughs> i think that's the not uh, i think gaming that's why i think the gaming industry has this me too movement right now i really do think there's a lot of but problems with gamers at a fundamental level right not now just gamers man I, I yeah mean, yeah just, with people in general but i feel like I feel like gamers just in general like I think it's better now than ever because like we have Discord, make friends on the internet. And stuff I mean, like this that. better be the last year we deal about you know deal with this, bro. Because I'm yeah. not about this. But, this can't go on for. for the pe next people have so much baggage. Decade, I realized that in the you know I think saying? it was last year. People like. People are constantly venting either to me directly or in Twitch chat or on Twitter. Right. And I realized, like, man, like us gamers, like, got baggage, bro. A lot bottled of baggage up. And bottled yeah. up. And I don't know if it's partly because of how they grew up or that's just society, 100%. or because 100%. they didn't have many friends. But like, I felt like out of all groups of people I hung out with, because mm -hmm. I've had tons of different groups. Trust me, there's baggage everywhere. It doesn't matter. But I feel yeah. like. Gamers have a lot that they can't, they don't know what to do with it. Right. I feel like most normies kind of like, they'll, they figure it out somewhere down the line. Not all, right. but most. But the people that spend so much time cooped up in their room and just, they just bathe in their negativity. Mm -hmm. Which is why it's I think because you, so much we here. game. We yeah. game. That's what we use as the outlet. the outlet. We don't talk about it. We play the games to let yeah. it out, you know? <laughs> play right, the games right, to escape right, right. reality which is why yeah, they that's... like when they're not gaming no more they're back to like yep exactly and it never really gets uh Late dealt with. thoughts but that's mm -hmm. that's what streamers are here for that's what youtubers and content content creators are here i've seen so many people tweet at big streamers like how much they've helped them out like back when I hamlin do whenever i saw hamlin's stream like how much hamlin's we helped them out like those, man. how much these streamers got them through dark times and it's like you know i think i think gamers are getting better we are we mm -hmm. are we have more resources people are being more open twitter is exploding right. right now like people are we're just gonna get better is like a subgroup and and hopefully I'm as a just... nation for America, at least, you know, BLM mm -hmm. movement helps us improve as an na uh, entire nation. So, all right. And I'm so, I'm super, super, excuse my language, but I'm super fucking passionate about just being, you know, being in the, the gaming community or whatever you want to fucking call it. Because I feel like I've, I've 
gathered like so much insight on and experiences on just you know transitioning from somebody that was super introverted dealt with an early you know divorce in my family and then transitioning into what i am now and you know college dropout you know so much shit like having this platform to finally talk about it 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 kind of, it it feels like i'm empowering like my 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 younger self right like i feel like i'm becoming the person that i wish that i had and to have this kind of platform whether we're talking to five people 20 people whatever it is makes me feel like i have purpose you know and as a streamer yeah. that is something that i started realizing that like okay i don't like just like just streaming because i like playing games i like streaming because i like I want to be that that outlet for people to you know to come out and just say hey you know you helped me out yeah that's the most satisfying thing to ever hear as a streamer that's literally my end goal i'm sure you guys have experienced it too like you guys 100 percent. i just want it. i just oh, want yeah. to that's laugh true. and have fun and just that's it right. you know I, obviously it's ultimately what we're here for if we have to get serious and talk about serious things yeah but like i've always like push people do their right, best right right their ambitions <clears throat> lift them up you know i feel like a lot of people are too focused on the good stuff right like the the paradise mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying the yeah. end goal right mm -hmm. like the money you know what i'm saying the the, yeah. the, but the journey the journey of streaming and yeah right now like, we're, we're going through hella ups and downs overall but like what's really wrong right Everyone's I think a, a lot of people pessimistic. need to focus on what really matters. <clears throat> it's yeah, crazy, man. I'm telling you, bro. The internet, if you don't know your way around the internet, it could break you so fast, bro. True. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could lose so <laughs> many years of your life. On the internet, you got you to gotta watch what you tweet, what you post, what to support, who to support nowadays. You know what? <laughs> yeah, for mm -hmm. real. I just want to pose my lunch, man. You know, <laughs> it's a food porn up in here. Yeah, you know? yeah. I feel it, it is uh, like, walking you know, out the nice Karen sometimes. out there hating on my, you know, my Filipino hot dog rice and UFC <laughs> ketchup, bro. You know, and they try to cancel me for that. <laughs> you got to watch, man. It's crazy. The internet is so unpredictable, man. The amount of power it has, especially the more followers you have, bro. More eyes on you. Everything's magnified. Magnified. Oh yeah, that's what I didn't like. Um, when the whole BLM started, people mm -hmm. were like looking to. It felt like they're looking to cancel people that weren't speaking. Right. Uh, it yeah. was really. Yeah, that, that, that's I didn't like that. Very weird. Very weird. Um. Hey, like, you're just people weird. Were. Like if if they don't know what to say or they need time to say something, like I understand, like why are we, oh, why are we trying to cancel people? And that's not the that's not the point be, of the movement yeah. right now. I don't think you should be entitled to talk about it. Just, yeah, as long right. as you're aware that it's happening and you know. Well, well, you know, I I, I, I get it that silence is like you know I forgot what this right silence is I know like it, siding with the uh, what was it Chad? Do you guys know it? Silence is the whatever whatever that saying is, and I get it. I forgot it, but you know. Gotta give them some time. Get people to but figure see, the out the movement, the the Black Lives Matter movement, the sexual assault movement that we're we're you know targeting right now as a topic. I feel like people is not understanding the fact that this movement is happening because we want justice. You know what I'm saying? We don't want every cent. We I mean, it would be great to have everybody on board, right? About this. But at the end of the day, all these people just want justice, right? I think we just need to give people... I mean, it would break my heart, bro, hypothetically speaking, if tomorrow Brian's not here, or Densi, or myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want justice, mm -hmm. right? And I think people are just a bit impatient. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it's going to take time. Silence is compliance. Yeah. I agree with that, but it's like... And then when they do speak up, they say they misword what they tweet or something under a magnifying glass. They get flamed. Yeah. They take too long to make a statement. They get flamed. Like I, I don't think 
that's who our focus should be. At least they finally yeah. did spoke up. Even Logan Paul, like, made a very, like, he's, everyone flames Logan Paul for <laughs> shit he's done. <laughs> But he came out yeah, with actually, some heat. I'm not a fan of him. Man. Exactly, but he he came out with a very. I don't think he's creative. I don't. I, I think, think he's just a popular douchebag. I think he's. <laughs> I think That's he. A fact. <laughs> That's a fact, bro. I think he's just a popular douchebag. But he did a good loves, job, like though. Like I said, bro. Douchebag people prosper on the internet. He's one of yeah. those people, bro. But you know he came out with a really good, like, probably one of the most well-made, well-curated speeches. But since he read it off his phone or something, he typed it out. Or it wasn't on the Telegraph book. Since he read it, it was a good message. And it's still really good coming from someone like him. But he was screwed. I just not... hope it's authentic. Yeah, authentic or not, saying it actually is already a huge step forward. Right. And everyone was scrutinizing him, saying it wasn't authentic because he read it. Like, it's just like, you can't win. It feels like you can't win. Why are we fighting with each other? Why are we trying to win against well, each other? What? That's not. When it comes to that, it's just you, that. That's on you. If you can, you know, you can fake it all you want, right? But at the end of the day, that, you know, if you can sleep on it, hey, look, man. And it also, yes. and it also looks bad that his brother was like out riding, making content. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, your yeah. brother, your not brother looking. was out there, Logan. Jake was out there recording shit. Anyways, that's, that's totally off topic. Man, man. You know but what like, I'm saying? That's his decision. It's, it's, just, man. it's just really weird, man. And hopefully, you know, life gets better. It will get better. I don't like, I don't like the Paul brothers, but yeah. like his brother, his little brother, that's his little brother, right? Can't control him. But <laughs> obviously, man. they're going to like twist the narrative like both brothers. So I, I, it's, it's just wild. Like, man, I don't hope anybody gets canceled. You know what I'm saying? It was the worst thing that could that 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 could happen to you if you're like a you know if you're a content creator or whatever. But yeah, man, I mean, you just you can't you can't be responsible for your brother's action. You know what I'm saying? That's true. But anyways, we we should end the podcast here. Uh, we can continue and answer questions from chat. But for the Spotify YouTube segment, this is where we're going to end. Cover Dr. Disrespect, Mixer, All Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. Holy shit, I'm trolling. Me Too movement. There you go. I just literally you gotta like. got to use your. Oh, my God. Your... <laughs> All Lives Matter and Black Lives Matter. You got to use your platform, yo. All right. For any... I got to edit that any... out. <laughs> I'm throwing. Oh, what happened? <laughs> so I should probably edit that out. Edit that shit out, bro. <laughs> oh my god! This man said all lives matter, bro. Well, that. we did talk about all lives matter, it's, in a sense. I mean, yeah, all we we are arg- <laughs> we're clearly arguing against it, including Black Lives Matter. No, I mean, say we're we're technically arguing against it. Uh, but yeah, it was a definitely very interesting day of both. Human rights and gaming shifts. If, if there's one thing you guys can take away from this podcast, use your guys' platform to bring positivity. Yo. Use your platform to speak out. You know what I'm saying? Share it. You guys like the share podcast? It, share it. You know please. I say I'm not going to edit it out. Fuck it, dude. Accidents. No matter how ugly <laughs> you are, like me. Oh, you okay, guys dude. know what I stand for. <laughs> Anyways, that's the so end probably. of the podcast. We didn't even introduce ourselves, but. Well, peace out. You know us already, man. You guys should know behind, us by now. Behind the screen, baby. All right, we're out. Peace out. Thanks for listening or watching. See you later.